Hello and welcome to another episode of Circuit Crush TV. Today I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, a little bit fun. And I have a special guest with us here. This is a Robo Sapien V2. Now, you might wonder why I have this thing taken apart or halfway taken apart. So before we go into the anatomy of this thing, a um, little background about it. I received this guy as a Christmas gift in 2006. And it was a lot of fun to play with. Very fun, very hackable, interesting toy. But it stopped working a little bit while later. And when I investigated why it wasn't working, I noticed that the insulation on the internal wiring was very brittle and would crack right off, which most likely caused a bunch of shorts and rendered the robot paralyzed. That is definitely a manufacturing defect, and I didn't want to take the time to, to rewire the whole robot, so it just kind of sat around for a while. Another thing you might notice, and I don't know if you could tell from the picture, is the plastic here. This plastic has turned yellow. It used to be white, just like the face and the fingers, but the plastic turned yellow, and um, it's very brittle. It'll break here, and I you know, um, already broke some off by accident, actually, when I was taking it apart. Um, never used to be that way. This is an, another defect. It's just a cheap toy, and I guess you get what you pay for. But anyway, that's why I started taking this thing apart. I wanted to see how it worked, and I wanted to see if there were any useful parts inside of this that I could salvage. So I started taking it apart, and um, here we have the leg. We have the, the bumper switches here. They're here, and they're also on the back. There's a motor in the back, and then this little connection board, and then the mechanical stuff. One of the first things that surprised me about this Robo Sapien, and you know, I should put a picture of this here so you can see what it looked like originally for those of you who don't remember. So here it is. Here's what the original Robo Sapien V2 looked like. But anyway, now that we're done with that, I was surprised that there really was nothing in the robot's upper arm. And in fact, the fingers, when they contract and release, are controlled by um, this motor here, but also this actuator in the chest has steel cables that run outside of the robot's arm and control the fingers. This motor actually controls the, the turning of the wrist, I'm sorry. And then here there's a, a, a bumper switch too on a thing's hand if it would smack something with the back of its hand. But I was really surprised to find that the robot's hands and fingers were mainly controlled by a system of springs, gears, motors, and the chest. Really interesting. These robots also came with a camera, as we can see up here, in it, its head. And here is the camera and the board for the camera. Uh, we have a microphone in its ear, this one ear. Actually, I think there's two microphones, so it's, it's got two ears. And then in the back, we have a speaker. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is what made the sounds when a robot would talk or play music, whatever. Um, really, really fun, really interesting toy. Uh, you notice that in the back of the head, there was this piece of plastic similar to the one in the front. This is actually translucent. Light will pass through this. And I imagine they did that one in the front and one in the back for the remote control. The remote control right here presumably works. It's also turned from white to yellow. But this is probably where the infrared signal would enter receiver and pickup. Now, I haven't taken the thing apart completely yet. But um, if I do so, maybe I'll produce a second video like this if you guys like it. But here we have the on-off switch in the back, and there's mo more motors and more mechanical linkages to control the hips and the waist. And then over here behind this piece of plastic, I could presume is the main, main computer board. And let's see if I can just... And you see how brittle that just snaps right off. Okay, wow, looks like we got what looks like a bunch of transistors. And then there's another board below this, which would have to probably contain one or more microcontrollers. But 
I want to take a closer look at this. I want to, you know, take it apart. And like I said, salvage any useful parts out of this guy and maybe use them for other projects. So, meanwhile, go ahead, drop me a comment. Let me know how many of you actually owned a RoboSapien V1 or V2. I think they also made, wow, we either come to the Nixie, he's also made a dinosaur, and I don't know if it was a dog or some other kind of creature. But yeah, drop a comment. Let us know um, if you owned one of these robots and if you were able to do any kind of interesting hacks or anything cool with it.